Hey everyone, I'm Brian with Obedia. Today I'm going to show you how to use multi-outputs with TuneTrack's Easy Drummer 2 Virtual Instrument Drum Plugin. I've talked about this before in Studio One, but there's a new version of Easy Drummer and that's version 2. Definitely introduces some uh, great new features into the plugin and I thought maybe you guys would want to see how to do this with the new version of Easy Drummer, so let me show you how it's done. I'm going to start off by dragging and dropping Easy Drummer into my Studio One project uh, song that I'm working with right here. Now I've got Easy Drummer opened up and the first thing that I want to do is of course I can find the sound that I would like to use for Easy Drummer. I can dial in anything that I would like uh, for each of my drums, but after I've done that I want to click onto the Mixer tab. Now in the mixer, this is very much the same as the previous incarnation of Easy Drummer. I'm going to look at the pull down menu underneath each of the channel strips for each of my drums here in Easy Drummer. You're going to notice that right now in orange is the number one. This means that everything, each of these instruments is just being sent out on the standard stereo output for Easy Drummer. And all these instruments are not dedicated to their own specific output channel in my audio workstation. They are on their own uh, tracks inside of Easy Drummer in the mixer, but they are not being sent to individual tracks inside of Studio One. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to click on the little orange number one. I'm going to select the option multi-channel. Now what's going to happen is immediately cascading down the mixer as I'm going to get the numbers one through in this case 14. What has happened now is that each of these instruments is routed out to a specific individual output, a virtual output, that's going to be output to Studio One. Uh, now I can change those if I want to by simply clicking that menu and again selecting a different output, but I'm just going to stick with the default ones that Easy Drummer gives me. Okay, now that I've done that, I'll go ahead and close my Easy Drummer interface for the moment. I'm going to come back into my Studio One and into my console. If you're not seeing your console, let's say everything looks like this, simply double click on your track inspector on the left hand side and you'll see your console. You can also click the F3 button on your keyboard and that'll show the console as well. Now looking at my channel strip for Easy Drummer, you're going to notice that I only have the one track for Easy Drummer. And this is where you're going to need to start making your multiple tracks and here's why. If I come back into the Easy Drummer interface and I play my snare, there's no sound. You notice I can't hear anything. However, if I play my kick, the reason I'm hearing my kick is because, again, on my mixer, my kick is routed to channel 1 right here on my virtual mixer inside of uh, Easy Drummer. But the snare is virtually on channel 2, so what that means is that right now I have no place for the audio to actually go from my snare, so it's not getting played back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look here in my console in Studio One under the Instruments heading. And if you're not seeing the Instruments heading, you can just look down here again a little further to the left and you'll see a box labeled Inst, Instrer, let's say Instrer, and that is Instruments. Uh, and this is going to show my instruments, the actual instruments that are instantiated in my Studio One session. In this case, of course, Easy Drummer is the only one that I have instantiated. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the little pull down arrow just next to the word Easy Drummer and select the option Expand. Now, this shows me a bunch of little check boxes next to uh, some little labels saying, in this case, Easy 1 to Easy 1. Then you'll see the option here, Easy 2. Put a check mark next to it and you'll see Easy 2 to Easy 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, and etc. going all the way down the list for each of these now virtual outputs that are coming out from Easy Drummer that can be delivered to Studio One. Now what's going to happen is that because I've enabled each of these, if I take a look at my channel strip right here, my console in Studio One, you're going to notice that I have all of these new virtual tracks that have been created. And here's where things get pretty cool. What this means now is that if I play, first of all, my kick, and I'll show this to you, I'm just going to play my kick, and you're going to notice that EZ1 is actually playing the sound of my kick. Now there's some other residual sound happening here across my other tracks, 
And that's because Easy Drummer uses a miking system. Just as we would mic up a drum kit, if we have mics all over a drum kit, there's going to be some bleed. Now we can control that bleed if we want to by making use of each of the volume faders here for each of the instruments. But here's where things get pretty cool because now what I can do is I can solo just Easy One, which is assigned to my kick. And if I play my kick, I'm only hearing my kick drum now. And let's say that I want to only hear my snare. I'm going to click and I'm going to solo my snare. And now I'll play my snare. And I'll play this back for you without the snare soloed. You can tell it's a little bit different because, again, of the miking system, the virtual miking system that uh, Easy Drummer makes use of. So, what is cool about this? Well, of course, this gives you a very easy and robust way to mix your drums. Uh, coming out of Easy Drummer. So you can now program all of your MIDI in Easy Drummer and get everything dialed in the way that you want it. Then you can come back into your virtual mixing tracks here in Studio One for each of your instruments from Easy Drummer. And now you can do cool things like click on the expand arrow for the channel strip that my snare is assigned to. And I can mix this just as I would any other uh, snare that I might be working with. So I can actually instantiate effects onto this track. I can use my preset effects. I can even set up sends. So this is pretty much just the same as if I had recorded a bunch of drums using microphones, but of course I didn't have to mic up an entire drum kit. I didn't have to go through all that setup and dial everything in. All I had to do was set Easy Drummer to make use of multiple outputs and then enable those outputs inside of Studio One. Now, you can disable as many, of the, as many of these as you would like, but again, remember, for each one that you disable, you're going to lose the ability to hear that instrument if it doesn't actually have anywhere to go uh, on your channel strip in your console in Studio One. But as long as you enable those, you're going to be able to hear each of those individual outs from Easy Drummer. So just to recap for you guys, just to show this to you one more time, I'm going to open up the Easy Drummer interface and go back into the mixer. Typically, the standard setting for Easy Drummer will be the stereo setting. And the stereo setting means that I'm just going to be routing all of the outputs of each of my drums out across the standard stereo output for Easy Drummer. That's a perfectly fine way to go, but if you want to get more in-depth with your mixing, click on the little pull-down menu right here and select the options all the way at the bottom labeled multi-channel. Then you're going to get these cascading numbers which are going to assign virtual outputs for each of your instruments inside of Easy Drummer. After that, of course, you can go back into the drums in Easy Drummer. And then your next step is going to be to engage each of those outputs in Studio One. Remember, if you're not seeing those, there's a couple, couple reasons that you might not see them. The first one is that you may not be looking at your instruments in your console. Make sure to click on the Instruments option to expand that. The second one is that if you take a look under Instruments and you don't see all of those outputs popping up, you probably just need to expand the instrument by clicking on the little pull-down arrow, select the option Expand. This will show you each of the individual outputs inside of Studio One. And now just to show this to you one more, guy, uh, one more time, guys, I'm going to click on each of these, and you can see for each one that I click, I enable a new output inside of Studio One, a new virtual output for each of my instruments. And now when I play each of those instruments, I get a, a specific fader that's going to allow me to control the actual volume and the effects for Easy Drummer, and uh, that's going to be really super useful because this is just like mixing a standard drum kit now that I have done all of the hard work of routing all of my virtual tracks inside of Easy Drummer and in Studio One. So there you have it, guys. I hope you found this useful. Easy Drummer 2 from ToonTrack is a very cool plugin. If you want to check it out, you'll want to go to ToonTrack.com. As always, Studio One is available at StudioOne.Personas.com, where you can find out more information about it and follow along with me uh, here at home on your own computer. Uh, or, of course, you always have the option to get in touch with me directly. You can find me on Twitter and on Facebook. You can get in touch in the comments of this video or send me a message on YouTube. You can email me, brian at obedia.com, or the best way to get in touch with me is always going to be call me at 323-319-4051. That's seven days a week. And when you call that number, we're going to set you up as an Obedia client. When you work with us as an Obedia client, 
you're going to be able to work one-on-one -on -one with a trained audio technician professional just like myself. We're going to work with you on your own computer in real time over the phone and through remote desktop and show you how you can get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software and help you to tame your technology. That's what we do best here at Obedia. So give me a shout, guys, and I'll be happy to talk audio with you. Or as always, just make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and check out some more of our great videos here on YouTube. I want to thank you guys for watching as always, and if you have questions, comments, or anything else, please feel free to be in touch with me. Thanks for watching, and take care. Bye now.